Hey guys, it's Megan from Grim Planner and I have my November haul for you guys. Um, most of these shops are new to me with the exception of two. Um, I was kind of on the hunt for some shops that didn't, that offered some more options in terms of like darker colors, like um, less pastels and pinks and florals. Not that I have a problem with all of those. Just something, I feel like some shops just offer a lot of that without, you know, um, any other kind of kits with like deeper, richer colors and depths and stuff like that. So, um, most of these shops, with the exception of two of them, I'd only picked up one kit each, um, just so I can try it out for the first time before I make like any kind of decisions and get more. Usually I'm somebody who goes all out and I'm like, oh, I like this one and this one and this one, so I'm going to get them all. But then if I... If it turns out I'm not really crazy about the shop or their paper or their kits when it all is said and done, now I have a bunch that I'm not probably going to use. So we'll see how that works out. Um, before I think I jump into that real quick, I'll just show you this. This came in yesterday. I ordered um, a Archer and Olive Blackout um, notebook. This is a grid dot, um, dot grid, grid dot, dot grid. Good job, Megan. And um, I'm not, I don't think as of right now, I'm going to use this as like a planner planner. I think I'm going to just use this for work, um, articles I need to get written, shops, like businesses I need to visit, businesses that are advertising with us, new businesses, that kind of thing. Um, so I think I'm just going to use that for this. Um, I might expand it. We'll see what happens. It's new to me. <laughs> this will be really interesting. Um, I love looking at people's spreads for their blackouts and they're just so creative and they just have amazing like drawing skills and I just don't have those. Um, so I figured I would use this more as like a notebook than a planner, but we'll see. I still can't help myself but look at like stickers that would go well in like the Bujo style versus like, you know, an Erin Condren. So we'll see what happens with that. And then I got this little pen pouch. I have to order pens for it yet. Um, I'm looking at the jelly rolls. I just haven't actually ordered them. And this way, this will stay with that notebook. And then if I'm like working, um, we have like a, one of those co-working spaces that recently opened up in town and we do have a dedicated desk down there. So sometimes my husband and I will individually work from down there. Um, so this way I can just take my pens and my notebook and toss it in my purse with my laptop and head down to the office or to a coffee shop to work, whichever. Um, so that's what that will be. I just have to get those jelly rolls. So yeah, let me go ahead and move these out of the way and we'll jump into the stickers. All right, the first one I'm gonna start here with is Miss Moss. Um, I love Miss Moss gifts. I love her curvy girls. Um, if you are a curvy girl planner or just like to have some, you know, more inclusivity, you know, you get a lot. Um, I know a lot of people look for that kind of stuff. Those with like darker skin, you know, different kinds of hair and stuff like that. Miss Moss is amazing for that. She has so many different options. I absolutely love it, especially like being a curvy girl. I love that I can get stickers with curvy girls on it. This is the little freebie that came with it. Um, if you can tell, this is all of these little naked curvy girls and their backs are painted to be the um, Pink Floyd albums, which I just think is so cute. I think she offers this in like a waterproof vinyl that you can put like on your car. And I wish I was a bigger Pink Floyd fan. Um, like I know some of their music, mostly from um, this album, The Dark Side of the Moon. I think that's the right name. Um, so I have listened to them, but I wouldn't say I'm like a really huge fan of theirs. I just know their music from like growing up and my dad would listen to them, but I really wish I was a bigger fan because I would love to get this for my car. I think it would look awesome on my car. My husband wouldn't like it, but I would like it. So yeah, that is freebie. I'm going to try to zoom in a bit here. Okay. So here we have just some of the, um, her like little emoji faces with like different, you know, feelings and stuff like that. The one thing I'm noticing is there aren't a lot of like real excited. I'm just now noticing this. I used this sticker the other day because it seemed like the best one to use. I'm like feeling kind of miserable and I have a headache. 
Um, but I like these because they're so small and they'll fit so nicely into the spreads. Um, and I'll show you why I really appreciate that in a minute here, but I really like these. I bought five of these sheets just so I had plenty. Um, her, sh her shop is located in Alaska, so they have a ways to go before they get here. That's why I tend to stack up. And then I got these really cute little like fix it girls. Um, I love these. It's just like, like I said, I love her shop. I buy them all the time. Her stickers are a little bit bigger than I like for my spreads. Um, I usually find myself like cutting off their legs or something if I need it to fit in a much like smaller space. But that is just, you know, that's just something I'm willing to do because her stickers are so cute. So um, those are little fix it girls. And then here are her um, monthlies. Um, there's 12 of them here. So you've got like January, which is New Year's. You've got um, February, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter in April, if Easter's even in April next year. Um, you've got your like kind of, what is this? Like a rockabilly um, girl for May, a girl laying out on the beach for June. Um, you've got this girl in red, white, and blue with little stars in her victory rolls. I, I can't, I think that's what they're called, victory rolls, um, for 4th of July, August, September, a little witch girl for October, November, and, um, Christmas, December. So I think those are so cute. So I picked up those and I'll put those in my monthly spreads. And then I ordered minis of them. I don't know why I ordered minis for these or if I meant to order the minis and that, I don't know. I got them, I'll use them, but this has like just double those. These are smaller, so they will fit, I think, much nicer in some of the spreads. So that could be why I picked those up. And then last but not least, I've got these really cute Slytherin girls. I am a Slytherin and I thought this was really fun. So I went ahead and picked these up. I don't know when I'll use them. I wish I'd gotten them sooner because I've just finished rereading and by rereading, I mean like listening on Audible to all of the Harry Potter books and rewatching all of the movies. Um, it's been probably like a solid 10 years since I've read any of the Harry Potter books. So I thought now was a good time. Um, so I wish I'd had that for this because this would have been a great way to mark those, but that's fine. I'll still find ways to include those in my spreads. So that was Miss Moss. Next up, I have Kinsey's Creations. Uh, this is a new shop, um, to me. She did a collab recently with Lilac and Paper, who I'm also never shopped with. Um, and so, and she introduced foil into her shop. So I decided to give that a try. Um, this is the little freebie that came with it in gold foil and it's on a clear paper. And then we'll just go through these. I've got Binge Watch and I bought these in all three foils. Sleep In, I also got in all three foils. Insta Post, all three foils. I got these in for headache, just black. I um, have been having, when it gets into the winter and this time of year, I tend to just have more headaches. So I like being able to, um, the dryness and stuff. I like having a little sticker that I can pop in there for like days. And I'm just like, not happening, not doing much. My head's killing me. Pull class. I got a bunch of these, um, just all in black, but with the clear paper. And then I got a bunch of these MFM podcasts. That's for My Favorite Murder, if you are not aware. That is one of my favorite podcasts to listen to. So I finally ordered some stickers that I can pop down on Thursdays when the new episodes come out. And then I've got a couple of planner sales and a workout one. So that was Kinsey's Creations. And then last for the script style non-kit stickers, I've got Peachy Plans. Um, Allison opened her shop last weekend and so I went ahead and jumped in and ordered um, a handful of scripts from her. This is her cute little freebie that comes with it. You've got like a work with the, you know, it gives you like a place to put your hours that you're working, your habit tracker, laundry, happy mail, and this cute little sleeping mask with, um, with a little raccoon. Probably a little bit bigger than I would use for mine. I do love sleeping masks. I order them constantly. Those are like my nap time, <laughs> one of my nap time icons. Um, and this is just a little bit bigger than I would probably use, but it's cute nonetheless. And then everything I ordered was custom. Um, so I have recently started listening to Wine and Crime podcasts, so I picked up one of those. 
um, Imagine Life podcast I have recently started listening to. I love this podcast. If you um, like like historical figures and not necessarily like politicians or anything like that, like they have singers and actors. Um, this is a really cool podcast because it's about like maybe 40 minutes, I think, and it goes through and it's they're pretend, it's like they're talking about you as if you are that person. And throughout the time, they're giving you like hints and clues as to who you are. And you're like trying to guess. And then it's not until like the last couple of minutes of the episode that you discover who you are. There have been a, a few that it's like it got to a point. I'm like, oh, yep, that's who this person is. And then there have been times that I'm like, I can't figure out who this is to save my life. Um, although thus far, there hasn't been a person I didn't know about. It just I didn't know them that well that I would know their story in such a way. And it usually starts from like a certain point, like how they got to be the figure that they are. So if you'd like, check out Imagined Life. And then WBAH, this is the Witch Bitch Amateur Hour podcast. And then I've got some nap time stickers here. And um, Allison was very kind. She reached out to me letting me know that her printer was being a little bit goofy and, um, or her cutter, sorry. And that one of the sheets she didn't think would um, pull up as well. So she just added a second one in completely free of charge. I really appreciate that like attention to detail um, and just that she thought to do that. I think that's really awesome. So I was really, you know, happy to hear that. I probably really wouldn't have thought anything of it really, but I think that's awesome that a shop owner is like, you know, I take this seriously. And if it's not my best work, I'm gonna send you a second one. And then this is another podcast, Detective Trap, which I just started listening to, it's new. And then I found out, I think that it's like a five episode podcast and I've already listened to three. If I had realized that it was such a short podcast, I wouldn't have ordered these. I'll use them. I don't know if there will be a second season. I have no idea how it works. I'm new to the like the wondery world of podcasts. Um, so I don't know if there will be a second episode We'll find or a second season. We'll find out. And then last but not least, I have these Aaron stickers, which I know are in the shop. I think as is. I don't remember if they were in there before or if I just didn't notice them. And so I just did ahead and did it as um, uh, like custom script but I did just order those and she does offer, she has a ton. She's been constantly adding to, to it for the past week, um, especially in time for Black Friday. And she was like, anybody, if you wanna see something in the shop, let me know and I'll get it up there. So she's added so much. And in fact, um, so it is December 1st today. And um, so it's been Black Friday and um, Small Business Saturday and tomorrow Cyber Monday. So. She's had sales going. I, in fact, placed a second order, um, probably like half custom, again, half um, half what she had in there, all scripts, but I'm, you know, I'm excited. She has already shipped those. That is amazing to me. She has been working her butt off. Way to go, Allison. I think that's awesome. All right, next we're going to jump into my kits. I'm going to start with the shop that I have previously shopped with. Um, you'll probably, you've probably seen these in almost, um, the shop in almost all of my hauls. This is from Glam Planner. This is her November, um, monthly subscription kit for, it's the November, um, color code kit. Um, not crazy about this, to be honest. I will probably end up trying to sell this in the buy, sell trade. These colors are just, when I look at them, I think of Skittles. And not that that's a problem. It's just, I don't like those more primary brights. I'm not crazy about I guess I don't know how to best explain my aesthetic because it's like, oh, well, you don't like pinks and pastels and you don't like these brights. I guess I just like darker kits, richer. Um, I mean, you'll see when the ones that I've in my the rest of my haul what I'm talking about with some of those. So like I said, I don't know. Um, I'll probably try to sell this. I might even cancel this color code. It hasn't been quite what I thought it would be. Um, and now I've just got so many and I don't know how many I'll actually use. So we'll see about that. So that was Glam Planner. Um, next, I've gone through a lot of these kits and looked at them closely. So I'm kind of going to go through, um, uh, there's a couple of shops that I'm just like not super crazy about. So we'll kind of start, I guess, there. Um, the first one is from Your World of Color and this I think is Green Phase. Um, and it's so funny because the on camera, the pictures actually look really nice. Like this green looks awesome. Not like that in person. It's a totally different shade of green. Um, so the paper just feels a bit like flimsy. Um, I think it's done in, I think it's done in matte. I 
should try to pull it up on my laptop, but I'm not going to. Um, it's just the colors I don't think have quite the payoff that I would have appreciated from this. You know, I it looked gorgeous. Of course, I know that it's not going to show up the same in person as it does online um, with the screens and stuff like that. It just is, it just feels like a bit washed out, I guess, is what I would say. Um, not to say I wouldn't give this another try, you know, look through with some more kits and see what some other options are. Just my first impression is I'm not totally crazy about it. So you've got your full boxes, um, you've got headers and littles, you've got your bottom washi, some more glitter headers here, and then you've got um, some half boxes, quarter boxes, and just some icons there. So again, that is Your World of Color in Green Phase. Next up is Netty Designs. Um, I don't know that I knew that this would come in foiled. I can't remember if I knew that this would come in foiled. Um, I know that I opened it and I was like, oh, it's foiled. But did I pick it to be? I must have. I don't remember, to be honest. I totally don't remember. Um, but this is Netty Designs Dia de los Muertos kit. This is a little freebie, sorry, that came. Just some little um, foil header overlays with snowflakes. This, when you ordered, like, I think the full kit, this came with it um just like a little add-on to it and then here are the glitter headers the only thing that i would say about this kit one of the things that i'm just not crazy about is the foiling the foiling just comes off the foiling the foiling just comes off kind of messy and all over the place and so i'm not super crazy about it uh this is the full boxes so as you can see just like it's really kind of clumped in there instead of being a bit more strategic, I guess. And that could be asking a lot. I don't know. I, I mean, I think all shop owners do some seriously awesome work in creating their kits and all that kind of stuff. And then foiling, I can't even imagine what that, what that all takes. Um, I know uh, Nikki from Nicole Alexia Designs, I've seen some of those videos and it looks like it takes forever. Like, I don't know how people have their processing times and like to me, which is like a couple, like can be like two, three weeks or whatever. Cause I'm like, when you have to foil like each individual sheet, I feel like that just takes forever. Um, but it's so impressive to me. So I don't want to talk too bad about people because that's not something I do. And I know that's a lot of work that everybody puts into it, but this is just my general opinion of it. So I like the flowers and I like the, you know, even though I said I don't like florals, but this is florals with skulls and that's a different story in my world. So I like this box here. You know, these are cute. It's just where it gets a little bit messy that I'm not too crazy about. This is the heart check um, boxes. I just feel like writing over this would be a little bit tricky with that foiling. I love these boxes and even these where they're just like foiled at the top. I love those. I think that looks really great. And then you've got icons here. I flip my phone, usually the camera's on this side and now it's on this side. And so now I have to like rethink to like do it over here. Um, so this is the icons. It's just like kind of intense for that foil. It's just like really all over the place. And then here you've got some headers and littles and especially like when you come down to these um, TV ones, these little television littles, I mean, it's just like, how would you write over there? If you can hear my dogs barking, I'm sorry. Somebody's walking across the street and they're very protective of this house. That person could be not just across the street from my house, but across the main road from my house because I live near a main road and they would still be pissed off about it. So yeah, headers, littles, you've got your bottom washi, date dots, date covers, appointment labels and such. So that was Netty Designs Dia de, los, Dia de los Muertos kit. Um. Anyway, so this is again a new to me shop. I did not know that this was foiled either, and so that was a bit of a surprise. Um. My fault, Megan. Read, like read things. Read things carefully. I'm usually going to say I'm like, you know, if they don't have options for like, do you want premium matte or regular matte or glossy? Then I usually go and read through like the item details, um, but I must not have noticed that it said foiled. So this is Jameson Reed Designs. This is her little journaling kit that came, or her little journaling card that came with it. 
Um, not quite my style, but cute nonetheless. I do like the back of it being black and white striped, so I thought that was nice. This is, um, I think I, I think I purchased all of this a la carte just because the kit, like you had a couple different options and it would be like super massive with a ton of pages of stuff I wouldn't use. Um, so everything I bought individually. So I added these extra, um, boxes for it. And did I say it was the Gothica kit? I can't remember. If not, it's the Gothica kit. Here are your full boxes. So again, like I said, I did not know this was spoiled. But this foiling looks awesome. And I'm not really a hollow person, but it looks awesome, especially on camera. The color is coming off so awesome on there. Um, so you've got the be the strange you wish to see in the world. And over here it says everyone is a moon and has a dark side, which he never shows to anybody. And then you've got like a little floral skull. This is just like really intense for me. It's just like so much. And hers is... Um, much cleaner than the Netty designs. Like it doesn't feel like it's kind of clumped together. It's very clean. It's just like real intense. And then same thing with these like skulls here. I think it would have been cool if these were just like the foil was just in their eyes, if that's a thing to do. Um, cause then they would look like they're glowing and I think that would be awesome. So that is the full boxes. And then you've got your half and quarter boxes here. And then this deco sheet, this is what like made me want this kit. And again, I think I thought this was all black and white because this looked, you know, this was all white on there. But I was like, I need this dress. Like, I want a dress just like this where the back of it just looks like a skeleton, except it cracks me up that you've got just like the spine just goes all the way down to the ground and there's no like leg ones. <laughs> I mean, obviously that wouldn't look as cute on a, as a dress, but it's still like that just kind of cracks me up. So I love this deco sheet. Um... Like I said, this is with the one that sold me on it. I will, um, I don't know when I'll use this. I don't know this. I would use this in the spread, but I think I would, I'll figure out something. It could look really good in that blackout notebook, actually. It's just like a fun little spread to do in there. Um, so there's that. And then we've got your bottom washi here. So yeah, Jameson Redesigns Gothica kit. Uh, next up, we have... This is from Pretty Organized Plans. Um, this is her Lush Deluxe Kit. So you've got your date dots and date covers here. And of course, glitter headers. Here are your full boxes. This one says, don't stop until you're proud. And this one says, good vibes. I like this like very geometric, kind of like a contemporary feeling um, look with the little succulent and everything over there. I have some that looks just, just like this actually. And this is in gold, the little holder is, and it's out in the, kitchen. And then we've got your icons and some scripts. Icons are a little bit bigger than I would probably use. Um, they take up a lot of space, so I don't know that I would actually use a lot of this sheet, but it's nice to have those options, of course, anyway. And it was the deluxe kit. And then you've got your half boxes and quarter boxes, sidebar stuff here. You've got washi. This isn't a glossy just so this is, I think this is the only kit that I got in glossy. So, and then headers and littles and then heart check boxes. So that was pretty organized plans. Next up, this is from Jackson Pepper. Goes that way. This is a little freebie that came with it. Just like a little like winter Christmas type freebie. Um, that's really cute. And then here we have the kit in watercolor winter. <clears throat> um, so this is pastel, obviously, but it's gray pastel, which I'm all for. I love this. I've bought so many more winter kits than Christmas kits. And because it's winter here forever, I swear. Um, like I'll probably be using winter kits straight through March, possibly. We'll see. <laughs> um, so I have a ton of them. So I just have this little like winter scene. These are your full boxes, your headers and half boxes, quarter boxes, some circle icons, date covers, littles, sidebar stuff, and your washi page, which I love the, this washi here. Like I love this. I kind of wish this was down here. Um, oh, I just realized this is a separate one. Um, so pretty. This paper is so soft. Like I didn't even realize that these were cut 
at first. I thought this was all just like extra full boxes or something. Nope, they're cut, but they're just like, it's hard to tell. But I really, I love the colors in this one. So that is Jackson Pepper Watercolor Wishes. Sorry, Watercolor Winter. Uh, two more kits to go through, or two more shops to go through, not two more kits. Um, this is from the um, Cactus Paper Company. So I had, I think I even have this in like my Etsy, um, like in my Etsy favorites. I have a bunch of stuff from Cactus Paper Co. I hadn't pulled the trigger on them because I'd ordered a bunch of those. And I'm like, all right, let's limit myself a bit here. Let's not go too crazy. And then, but I was already following her on Instagram and she announced a big um, like birthday sale and it was all like 50% off. So I was like, okay, I guess I'm buying a bunch of kits. Um, so these are the freebies that came with it. This, you get this little cute um, bow. And then this is the birthday freebie and then the 20 plus birthday freebie. And then here I ordered, since this was all 50% off, I ordered all of the scribbles that she had, all of the different colors. So you've got Old Baby, which is these nice like uh, pastels. I just like the way these are cut where they're not like perfect. Like they're cut the way that they are like scribbled on there instead of being like a perfect square. And I just think that's gonna add just a little something extra to the spreads. I'm excited for that. So Oh Baby Baby, Be Bold, Be Beautiful, Very Licious, Your Gem, Spring in My Step, Neutral Nation, Rainbow Bright, In the Army Now, Smell the Roses, Sea Blue Green. All right, I've got three kits here. I'm gonna go through and, you know, talk through the first one and then we'll just quickly flip through the other ones. <laughs> I just looked at this and I'm like, how am I only at eight minutes? I've been doing this forever. That's right. I had to stop and restart recording. So this first kit here is called The Woods. I just really like these greens and blues that are in here. Um, you know, just nice, a little something different. Um, I know Domi from Bonjour Domi likes blues and greens. Um, she, you know, she and I talk and we feel kind of similarly. So when I hear like, I see these blues and greens, I can't help but think about her because I know that she loves blues and greens. Um, so this says get lost in the woods and you've got like a cute little owl here. This one, I think it would be fun to like foil on my own, like figure it out how you would DIY foil things. So I might do that with this kit because I think this would be a good kit for that. Full boxes, checked boxes, half boxes. I love these large scallop boxes. Um, I think that's a nice difference than like the little like quarter size ones, just these like half, half box size ones. Um, other boxes here, are your glitter headers, washi. I like that this washi is, again, like it's cut like to the trees. And I think that would be really cool to put in there. We've got headers and some icon, dot icon here, just some like um, your appointment labels, some flags, littles, some scripts. Oh, I just saw these cute, these little sleep ins. I love those because I sleep in a lot. Um, and then you've just got a sheet of icons and scripts, so that looks nice. And then you've got your um, deco sheet and your date dots and date covers. I think it's nice that there are two weeks, like two different versions here. So if you are like a real white space planner, I mean, you could stretch this kit out into two weeks. I feel like I should try that at some point and see how I feel about it. I've had some different ideas of ways to play around with my spreads, um, but it's hard to like go way off my norm. But at the same time, it would be kind of cool to play around a bit. So we'll see. We'll see if I, if I use one of these kits for that. This next one here is Tucson. Um, I love these like rich desert style colors. Um, I love this purple. Purple is, I probably used to be like my all time favorite color. And then they say like, if you want your bedroom to feel like royal, like purple is like a royal, like a color like associated with royalty. So I'm like, I want like a dark purple, like, but still in this like dusty kind of purple. Um, on my walls. Oh my 
God, I think I have something in my eye and it's bugging me. Full boxes, check boxes, half, scallop, glitter headers, washi, headers, icons, littles, icon strips, date dots, date covers, and deco. And then last but not least in this kit, we have um, the Regal. I did reach out to her. This came in yesterday. I did reach out to her today on her Etsy shop. This is just a little bit miscut. I love the colors. I love all the blue in this and the dark blues. Um, but I did reach out to her because these were all, actually, this is interesting. I don't even know if they were miscut or if it's just like this should have been because they're these boxes, but they are scalloped cut, but it's not a scallop box. So we'll see. Um, I'm hoping uh, we'll see what she says back. I haven't heard from her. I'd like to get a new one of these just because um, I love the colors. I love it so much. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. So we'll see what happens. So there's your full boxes checked boxes, glitter headers. Whoop, washi. I was like way off screen for all that. Sorry. Headers, littles, icons and scripts, deco date dots and date covers. All right, moving on to the last shop that I ordered from. I was very excited. I'm very impressed with this, with the work in this one. Um, and that is Saucy Stickers Co. Flip it this way because that's the way the so this is just a little freebie that came with it um she's got all these like hexagons and people like I hear people say I'm like they're like I'm a hexa ho and I was like I don't even know how you use hexagon stickers like I'm I'm still so new to this um uh, I guess I'm not great with like <laughs> like an attention to detail of having fun with like layering and doing different stuff but um planning Kalo, I watched one of her plan with me's and the way she used her foiled hexagons and it was really awesome. So I ordered, I think all the ones that she had for her Black Friday sale, like the whole lot of like the different, I think they were like in colorways or something and they're foiled. So I ordered all of them. No shame in my sticker buying game. And then I got these shit to do, got two of these shit to do's. Um, I got them in matte and in foil, and I don't know what my reasoning was for that, but whatever, I did. Maybe I just want to see how it writes or which I prefer. So those will be fun to use. And then this first kit here is, um, I'm just going to move that kit off because I love this kit and I want it to be like a boom surprise. Page turner, here are your glitter headers, and then this is just a book themed um, kit. So you've got your full boxes. Um, date icons, other icons. These are really big date icons. Circle icons. Megan. Um, these are really big icons. I don't know that I would, again, use these um, too much in my spread because they're just really big and takes up a lot of room. Um, you've got your check boxes and appointment labels here. Headers and littles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Half boxes, sidebars. And then your bottom washi and other washi. And I love this bottom washi. I love these books, like just the pages. I think this is gorgeous. So I'm real excited for this one. And then last but not least from there is this Jolly Kit. And I just, oh, I love this kit. It's so stinking gorgeous. I just love the silver foil. Weirdly, it kind of almost looks a bit hollow because when I do it, this, it looks, yeah, but it's so, it's silver. Um, I just love the darkness of this winter kit, this Christmas kit. This is, I, I'm going to use this the week of Christmas. I have a one Christmas kit for the week before Christmas, and then I'm going to use this the week of Christmas. Um, I actually have three Christmas kits, but I'm only going to use two of them. One of them just didn't turn, I wasn't too crazy about when all was said and done, um, with the quality of it. So, but I love this. I just, I love that red door and this drink and all of the like silver foil just little bits here and there I think it's so gorgeous this gives me serious twilight vibes like just move the apple switch out the apple on that snowball <laughs> you get twilight which I don't hate it so I love this I love this so stinking pretty and then you've got your icons and sidebar and flags 
you've got your um, headers up here, your foiled headers, and then you've got your half and quarter boxes. And I just love that a few of these just, you've got just a bit more of that foil kind of sprinkled in. So it's not like overwhelming, but just a little something, just a little extra. And then we've got your bottom washi and your date covers. And then I ordered this, this was I think an add-on of just these little, um, the littles. I like to, I like extra stuff. I tend to use a lot of boxes in my spread, so it's nice to have a bunch of extra things. So that is all that I have for this November haul. I went balls to the wall um, for Black Friday, so I'm gonna have a lot of stuff. I will probably have to do like two separate hauls. Um, and as I start rolling in, just kind of see what the best way is to do it. Otherwise, it will probably be a very long haul at the end of the month. Um, I still have actually a couple other shops that I'm waiting for that I ordered in November or the end of October and I haven't received them yet. Um, so those might find their way into that or I might just do something small on Instagram since it'll just be a couple of shops with, I, I think one shop has like two kits in it. And the other one, I think I just oiled a bunch of, oiled, ordered a bunch of foil headers. Um, so yes, that is all I have for you guys today. You have a very awesome week coming up and I will talk to you guys soon, probably in my next plan with me, which I'm going to go and um, film that now. Bye.